All right, thank you for having us. The video um, that you guys are seeing right now is standard industry practice. It's exactly how animals are treated. So my name is Kevin Luna. I'm here to speak up for the voiceless, the innocent, the vulnerable, and the forgotten victims on farms and slaughterhouses here in San Diego, which are the animals. The reason for the need of the right to rescue um, that we're asking for of farm animals is as obvious as your right to break a car window and rescue a dying dog from that car. The only problem with that previous analogy is that both of those scenarios are illegal. It may seem logical and heroic thing to save the dog's life from a car where their owners neglected them, and that's because it is heroic, and we think that at the very least, the individual to save that dog's life should not be punished. That's what we're fighting for today when we say the right to rescue. The other, even bigger issue is the more horrendous and sickening um, than what, is, what happens behind closed doors on your local farms and slaughterhouses, which is what you're seeing right now. I have been in farms and slaughterhouses personally, and a film to share the truth about what happens to help people make an educated decision on how their daily choices impact the lives of so many innocent beings. With this much demand, there's a huge amount of demand um, for animal products right now. It is not economically viable to save every sick and dying animal that you see on the farms. And some of those that aren't lucky enough to be one of the trillions that are slaughtered for profit. I've seen animals dying in their own feces, dying in a dumpster, dying in holes. Um, I've seen men step on and torture Excuse animals. me one minute, please yeah. pause the video. I just want to let you know that this is very sensitive imaging that we have not seen beforehand. We do. We would. Uh, uh, we would point out that this video it, it contains a lot of difficult, graphic, violent footage, and so before we proceed with it, we'd like to provide all of you with the opportunity to either leave the chamber, close your eyes if you do not wish to see this content. We want to warn you ahead of time. All right, you can continue this. All right, so as you guys can see, it's, it's horrendous, right? And so what we're, we're asking, how is this still legal? These industries will still profit regardless of individuals taking the sick and weak animals to veteran care and animal sanctuary, which is what we want. If you want to see happy and loving animals that have been rescued from these places, you can visit one of the local farms, the animal sanctuaries, and see how happy animals um, live that aren't treated like this. Once you meet them, you're not likely to eat them. So we're here because we want to work with you. We aim to create solutions that benefit all of us and to improve, improve the city we're all proud to call home. We have been trying to engage with you about the right to rescue for eight months. We expect questions and a response from the conclusion of our final speaker. Let's work together. Thank you. Thank you.